YouTube. Today I wanted to do a video for all of the people thinking about coming to Paris or visiting Paris for the very first time. And I've been inspired to do this video because my best friend is coming all the way from New Zealand to Paris for the very first time this summer to see me. I'm so excited. But it's her first time in Europe, first time in Paris. And I realized that I had quite a few tips and tricks that I wanted to share. And I thought to myself, if this is in any way useful for her, maybe it's gonna be useful for you guys too out there on the internet. So let's jump into it. My first tip is maybe a little bit of a controversial opinion, but I wouldn't climb the Eiffel Tower. Okay, I'm probably a bit biased because I've been living here for five years and I've never done it. But from everything that I've heard is that it's kind of disappointing because when you finally get to the top and you have this incredible view over Paris, you don't see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so it feels a lot less Paris than you would have imagined. Now there are many, many different places in Paris where you can get beautiful views. You can climb the Arc de Triomphe. You can also go up to a Montparnasse, which is a big, modern, ugly building anyway. So there's a bar right up the top of that building and you can get an exquisite view from that. You can also go to the rooftop of Galerie Lafayette. Again, lovely view. You can see the Eiffel Tower. And there are also some cool restaurants and bars out there that offer a gorgeous view of the Eiffel Tower. I've got a couple in mind. One's a kind of more chic, expensive restaurant, and one's a more casual, nice bar, burgers and stuff, both with awesome views. So I'll link those down below in the description box. The second tip is for any non-French speakers, because I know they always freak out a little bit about coming to France, and they've heard that the French really appreciate it if you make an effort with French, and if you don't necessarily speak French, that can be a little bit intimidating, right? But there are honestly very few words that you actually need to learn. Um, and the most important of all is bonjour. If you want to ask for directions, if you need help, if you have a question, if you enter any store, if you enter any restaurant, as long as you've said bonjour once, you can switch to English and people won't take any offense. To make it a little bit more complete, it would be really nice um, if you learnt merci. This is how you say thank you, merci, 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 s'il vous plaît is please. You can also add parlez-vous anglais s'il vous plaît. So if you need to stop someone on the street for directions you can be like bonjour, excusez-moi, parlez-vous anglais s'il vous plaît. And this will really give you brownie points for trying. The next tip is that cars over here drive on the right hand side of the road which may be completely normal to most Europeans but for me coming from New Zealand where they drive on the left I found it really bizarre, but there's an extra layer of complexity in Paris, which is that cars will not stop for you. If you're at a pedestrian crossing and there's no light telling you that you can walk or not walk, like good luck getting cars to stop. Nine times out of 10, they won't, they'll just keep driving. So be really, really careful on pedestrian crossings. The next tip is around famous landmarks, and there are a few landmarks which you need to kind of learn how to say properly. So the river that runs through the middle of Paris is called the sin, not the sign. The big famous shopping boulevard with all of the luxury stores like the Louis Vuitton flagship store for example is called Champs-Elysees. Another classic is Montmartre. We're going to Montmartre to see the Sacré-Cœur. Another important word to know how to say properly is arrondissement. And you see I'm, I'm still saying it with an English accent because Paris is divided into 20 arrondissements or districts. So you're going to use this word a lot because you can say I'm staying in the 9th arrondissement. We need to get to the 7th arrondissement today. Just a little tip is that if you don't know which arrondissement you are in, you can look just above any street sign. So find any street sign whatsoever and it will have a number on top of it from 1 to 20. The next thing to know about visiting Paris is that you do not need to tip. The bill is all inclusive, service included, so you really, there's no need, you won't come across as stingy or frugal or anything like that if you don't tip in Paris. Of course, if you feel like the service was exceptional or you're feeling especially generous that evening, you can tip. But what I would recommend is rather that the tip is in cash rather than on your card, just to make sure that the waiter actually gets it. Now, in terms of apps to have in your phone, there are two that I would recommend hands down to have on your phone for Paris. The first is City Mapper. City Mapper is a fantastic app because it links the Paris metro systems, the buses, the Aria trains. 
um, and even the bike hire service so that you know exactly which route to take, what will be the most efficient, which will be the easiest. However, you need an internet connection to use City Mapper. You can download maps offline, etc. But if you're on the go and you're a little bit lost and you don't know where you are, I would also recommend downloading the app Paris Metro and you can put it into the app. Say, I am currently at Voltaire and I need to get to Pigalle and it will tell you which metro line to take. Very basic, but offline and free. Next tip for Paris is that the first Sunday of the month, major museums are free. So I'm talking Musée d'Orsay, the Louvre, like it's really great. You can get into these really exceptional museums for free. Another thing to note is that a lot of major museums are actually closed on Mondays. The Louvre isn't, it's actually closed on Tuesday, but you know, don't assume that the museums are open every single day of the week because it's not necessarily the case. Another tip is that every evening the Eiffel Tower lights up and it looks absolutely beautiful, so definitely go and see it by night, but also every hour on the hour it sparkles for five minutes straight and it's definitely worth Another seeing. Another tip is about what you wear. In general people tend to wear quite simple, well-cut, well-fitting clothes. If you wear hoodies, if you wear things with like your university label on them, backwards caps or like baggy jeans, loud colors, bright patterns, this kind of thing, you, you may stand out as a tourist. I mean wear what you want but but just saying that if you stand out as a tourist you may actually become a target for pickpockets and that's definitely not what you want. The last point and I don't want to end this video on a downer but you've got to be safe and you've got to have your wits about you in any big major city is just to be careful when it comes to touristy areas and the metro with your bag. So if you have a backpack for example when you hop onto the metro bring it around to the front. And if anyone comes up to you asking you to sign any petitions, we just avoid that at all costs because there are sometimes organized circles of people and while they're getting you to sign up for some sort of cause or charity, you've actually got their friend dipping into your pocket. Or even any street games like in Montmartre, you know where the guy is like hiding the ball under the cups and he's like swapping them around and you've got to guess which cup it is and that kind of thing. That's all very well and good but again sometimes they're actually rigged so that while you're distracted their mates are pickpocketing from your pockets, from your bags, etc. So just be really wary of all of that kind of stuff to avoid having any upsets because there's nothing like having a wonderful trip to Paris ruined by a bad experience. Well, those are my beginner's essentials to Paris. I hope you guys have enjoyed those tips. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do all sorts of videos about visiting Paris, life in Paris, French culture shocks, as well as general travel New Zealander related kind of things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. A bientôt.